Hey, this is a Top 5 Wednesday video, and today we're gonna get a little bit... Wrong direction. Personal. I really hope that's still in focus. I'm gonna talk about characters that I most like today. Let's jump right in. The first person is Crew from Dordo Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Um, I think I mentioned this in my last Top 5 Wednesday video. I have colored hair. Crew has colored hair. We are the same. Um, I mean, that's not- that's sort of a flimsy thing to, like, relate to a character, but, like, I feel like it's slightly different when you have colored hair for a long amount of time. I've had colored hair for like, I wanna say like two years or something. Um, I feel like everyone should dye their hair a color at least once just to try it out. Um, but to have it for a long amount of time is a different thing. And I would definitely choose to have hair like Karu has. Um, and she has blue hair and I used to have blue hair, I have green hair now. But yeah, I also really like her as a character. I, she lives in Prague. I would live in Prague. I would make that decision. She has an awesome apartment. I would live there. We're the same. Yeah. The next character is Thomas from The Maze Runner. Um, he asks a lot of questions at the start of this book, and I understand why, because he's confused and lost, but it's a little bit annoying, and I think that I ask a lot of annoying questions, questions that I don't really need to ask. It's something that I should work on, like, instead of asking someone, figuring it out for myself, because there are some times when you need to ask questions to like understand what's happening, but then sometimes you ask a little bit too much, and that is definitely me, so be less annoying, Dylan, I guess. Um, the next book, or the next character that I want to talk about is Mabel, um, from The Snow Child by Ewan Ivy, which is a beautiful, beautiful book. It's based on a Russian fairy tale. You should definitely check it out if you haven't. Um, Mabel is a very sad, sort of depressed, isolated and alone character, even though she, you know, is with other people. And, I mean, I'm not, like, depressed, but I definitely related to her, especially when I was reading this book, um, and just her isolation and her aloneness and her struggle to do something about that was something that I saw myself, or is something that is similar between the two of us. So, yeah, just her sadness and her isolation, I guess. I said it was gonna get personal. The next person that I want to talk about is R from Warm Buddies. R is not necessarily like me um, as a character. I really like him as a character. He's a really great voice for this book. If you haven't read it, he's definitely- like, he's worth reading- it's worth reading this book. It's a great book, um, but it's worth reading this book just to get the perspective of R, because he's such a- he's such a great character, um, and such a great perspective to see things from. Um, this talks a lot about having things in your mind um, and not being able to get them out and R can't get what's in his mind out and share that because he's a zombie. Um, I have other reasons for not being able to like, I have a lot of things on my head and I'm in my head a lot, but in terms of sharing and communicating stuff, that's a little bit more difficult for me and something that I struggle with and struggle to actually like attempt to do. Like I, I don't feel like I try enough to do that this is like turning into some sort of like, Dylan needs to like help himself become a better person. Like, you know, you need to work on that and that and that sort of video. Um, the last person is Eleanor from Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. She is a character, and this is sort of the opposite of what I just said, but she's a character who finds strength, I think, in keeping things to herself and keeping things her own. Um, and a lot of that is her pain, but sometimes it's other things as well. Sometimes it's her her thoughts on something, um, and we get to see that because of the the narration, but I don't know, it was just, I, I really, like I do that as well, I definitely keep things to myself, and not always, but sometimes I find a sort of power in that, a sort of strength in being able to overcome things and be in control, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's not always a good thing, but it, it's, it's sometimes a good thing to, to be able to own your thoughts and your feelings. Um, so yeah, that is the last person that I am similar to, I guess, or have a characteristic, characteristic in common with. If you want to share some characters and books that you are similar to, do so in the comment section below. I'd love to know and tell me why, and like how you, how you are similar to them, and what it was like to like read about the character. Did you like not like them as a character? Did you like them more? Um, I'd love to know, and yeah, that's my Top 5 Wednesday video for this week. I will leave the Goodreads page in the description box, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.